Hey guys, it's Just Lego Reviews with you, and just before I start the review video, I just want to give you a little lowdown about this channel. Now this channel is just going to be reviewing on Lego sets that I may buy and happen to review before I use them, but other than that, this is just to help give a little insight into what the set is before you buy it, and don't like it for the use of Legos just how they put it on the, whatchamacallit, the box before it. So let's just jump right into it. This is the LEGO 60th Anniversary Set, set 40290. And so the first thing to look at right here is the 60th year, 60 years of LEGO, the main thing to present it in the front. An interesting fact about this is that it's on a put on a red 2x4, which was the first brick ever made by Lego, which I, I think that's personally cool. It has the 60 years on it with two, the same colored brick. That's cool. And that's pretty much all about it. Now the first set is, the first part of this set is, let's see. Mm. This is the Lego Castle, which is an early, one of the earliest sets, which is set 375. They, it's probably too expensive to buy right now. I was looking around eBay, and it costs like about, I think, $300 to get the original set. But yeah, here's a little, if you don't want to have to buy the set, you just want like miniature versions of these, getting the 60th year anniversary is probably going to be your best option it's um i got it when they were doing the deal on the lego website but they probably have that deal down by now so um it's pretty nice it's a really great representation which i'll post pictures at the end of the video of what each of these sets are supposed to look like and the castle it's a pretty good representation. I like the use of red and yellow since that was the only color they used in the set really is red and yellow. The drawbridge right here is really nice. See, you can move it up and down, which is a pretty nice feature if you want to just put micro figures, which, wait one moment. which you could easily put in here and pretend they're like some Lego minifigures of this set, which are, it's pretty good. You could, you know, it doesn't have to be like an exact set, but it's pretty nice. Really great representation. I give it like a 10 out of 10, although I think a better idea Lego could have done was just re-release most of these sets because... I'm pretty sure a lot of people who grew up with these types of sets in their childhood would really, really appreciate it. I would too, and I am i didn't have them growing up. Now, so, second set, no, second part of this set is the spaceship. It's pretty good. I like the, how you can detach the spaceship, so if you just want to take it for a nice ride, Yeah, you could go for a nice ride. Nice Sunday drive. And so it's a nice it's a nice one. I like how they have the command center right here is just a one by one washing machine. It's pretty nice. And then using the new type of roller skate as a buggy, it's pretty good. And the the satellite that can go and that is to contact Earth, I guess. That's pretty good. And so, here's the set without the rocket right here. Which is pretty nice all alone. You can't use your micro figures for this one. But, you know, it's alright. It's one thing that you, it's just one you can't use. But, now here's a look around the whole part. Now this one, I forgot to mention, is set 
928 and is um I haven't looked for this set because I haven't been able to find it on eBay but it's pretty good it's great really great representation again and so let's move on to the next set and now I'm looking actually at these sets I um don't I don't think really micro figures would work well for this one because it might work well for the castle set, but other than that, nothing really. So now this next one is the pirate ship that is set 6285. And I think is a really great way how they use how they made it without having it really big because and the was was it the the original Lego set is very huge. Comes with a lot of minifigures. I haven't been able to find this one really because that had been a cool set to have. It's probably very expensive though. Let's see, so a little. Let's see what's good about this one. It's really it's nice how they put the portholes right here. Even though you can see through them, you can see like see my finger back there, right here. It's you can see it move pretty good I like how they used the cannons right here because it's a pretty nice way to it's a pretty nice way to what's the word give less room but make it look like an actual cannon then the flags are really nice my only problem is they put them on these pieces down here and they just move around a lot so it's it's really hard to see like this is how they move typically this is not really me doing it this is just gravity and so it's pretty good that's m probably my only complaint about this part of it and let's see that yeah and now here's the other side it's pretty much the same there's nothing different between the sides at all but the flags are pretty a pretty nice they're a pretty nice little design right here and how they have them connected to these pieces you might see used in um, temple sets where they hold the characters might be holding fire in them at all. I really like that. Flags are a nice design also. It's, it's pretty much pretty much all. And so that was that was the Lego Pirate set. Now here's one that 90s kids might remember. I'm pretty sure this came out in the 90s. I wasn't around then, so I wouldn't know. So, let's see. This set is set 6399. It's a Lego train set. And um, I apologize for the quick cut and how things may appear to have changed viewing from last time. It's that what I was using to record... It's, um, I ran out of space, so I had to, had to cut. So, this is the train, and as I looked from the box that I got it in, I was right. It was from the 19, it was from 1990, and, um, it's a pretty good recreation of the train. I like the little, how they did the little stand down here. It's really good. I honestly, until looking at the box, it was, I didn't realize it was stand, but then when I saw it, I can't take my eyes away from it. Now, the train's a really good build, actually. I'd say this is pretty solid for it. It's got the nice go and stop signs right here that you can obviously interchange. It doesn't matter. Just as Lego, you know, you can create it however you want. It, The platform's really nice. Um, the way to go up. That's pretty nice. I like how they use the clear bricks to make it look like how it's actually, how do I say that? Um, how you can actually go up, how, no, how it looks like it's continuing and it's not like building up from the ground. It's pretty nice. Then, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty nice set. This whole set was just, um... It was a nice one. I really can't find much at fault with it. It was a pretty good part on Lego to try to recreate some of their their great years for the 60th year anniversary. 
And now, just as I promised, here is the box of the set to compare the sets with the ones I previously talked about. Here's the castle, which came out in 1978. And that's a pretty good recreation, I think so myself. Then the next set is the Spaceship 1979, which again is a great recreation, a great job on LEGO's part. The next one is the Pirate Ship set from 1989, and as I said, it was really big. It was really hard to recreate, but LEGO did so in a way possible. And then the final one, the train set, which LEGO again recreated, which it looks pretty nice, if I do say so myself. It's, it's pretty neat. It's pretty much it. And so, yeah, it's, um, here is the set for 60 years of LEGO. It's really, it's been a fun 60 years. It's been a great thing to grow up on. It was pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much my review for today, and um, uh, Just Lego Reviews, I'll see you next time.